Hey guys, welcome back to more Fire Emblem Heroes, and today we're taking on the Grand Hero Battle, White Wolf Lloyd from Fire Emblem, the Blazing Sword, and man oh man, is this character cool? I really want to talk about him, but in case you haven't played that game, I'll spare you his explanation. All you need to know is, he's an incredibly strong sword master. Also, everyone says his face looks really weird, I don't know. I think he looks fine, actually. I think the artist did a good job. But for this Grand Hero Battle, we got six days to do it. Um, We're not going to need that long because our team kind of kicks butt. So, ideally, you're probably not going to have a team like this. Lynn, Hector, Julia. Way overkill, I'll be honest with you. And I actually don't think you need a sword unit going into this specific Grand Hero Battle since there's only one axe unit and he's not a big deal. Alternatively, though, Reinhardt, Ephraim, Olivia, Camilla, all fantastic units to rip through this map and hopefully get yourself a four-star Lloyd. Now, the major problem with this map is not actually Lloyd himself. It's his minions, specifically one annoying archer. We'll deal with him in a bit, but once you get the archer down, Camilla can actually totally wreck house here. Also, Bunny Camilla, pretty darn good if you have the Spring Festival, but we're rolling with Hector because god dang, he's my boy, and yes, we win. Get that four-star Lloyd. I like Lloyd a lot. I want to get him. I also like Lloyd in space. Does anyone remember that show? Probably not. It wasn't very good, but here we go. So let's talk about the units at hand. First up, we got this Axe Flyer with life and death and lunge. Kind of scary. But at the same time, it's it's just an Axe unit, so we could easily take it down if we had an Archer or what have you. Next up, we have uh, this Thoron Blue Mage. Nothing really too crazy. Just rally defense. He also has Shuriken Breaker. Da dagger Breaker, I guess. Doesn't always have to be shurikens. <laughs> Some real playing fates. But he also has Hone Attack. That can be kind of annoying. And he's currently Hone Attacking this Bow Cavalier. Now, this guy is scary. Death Blow and Sword Breaker 3. Sheesh. He also has uh, Fortified Cavalry. So if these guys are next to each other, not a good thing at all. This guy also has Lunge, but we don't care about that. And last but not least, Lloyd himself. Now, Lloyd. Pretty scary unit if you go toe to toe, but we're not gonna do that because we have magic characters, but he actually has pretty good resistance. So if you're using someone like Robin or someone that can't easily double him, it's a little bit on the scary side, but his major like appeal is his regal blade, which if the foe is at 100% when in combat starts, you know receives attack and plus G. It's actually pretty good. Like this is a really good um legendary weapon, quote unquote. It's just 16 might. I call weapons like that legendary, but everything else, not a big deal. Pass is like whatever, you know, it's not a huge deal. And threaten attack three. Also not amazing. Kinda nice reference though to his Fire Emblem Awakening um debut when you could battle him via spot pass. But yeah, let's start the battle. So here's the deal. Danger zone up. Let's just plot out. So we want to take care of this guy ASAP. Now, if you have a Robin or anybody that can deal with this Bow Cavalier, just put him right here. Right here. As long as it's not a sword unit, he probably can't double you, and you should be okay. So, with that being taken in consideration, I guess let's just start the battle. And I'm going to inch my boy Hector up very slowly. And if we can't get a, a Ju not Julia, Olivia, right next to him, that's fine. It's going to get a buff from that. And... Next turn, we're gonna advance. I just wanna make sure he is on like the best condition possible. And it takes us a little bit, but yes, this is gonna bait this bow cavalier to attack us right away. And that's exactly what we want. Let's just go into this position and we should be okay. Ideally, you probably don't need Julie here, or you could use someone that has a uh, smite to get over to the right side and then like put like maybe a green mage like Nino over there just to take care of the guys preemptively. That can also work and okay, super. This is exactly what I wanted, so... Wow, Lind is kind of a monster. Ideally, this could be a red mage as well, but... We're just gonna go ahead and take care of this, um... Flyer real quick. They can't really do too much to, uh, Lind, since she's so far away, right? Then... Uh, what should we do? We're technically in range of that guy. I think I'm gonna have to dance with Olivia right over here get the kill on the axe flyer it is life and death it could go for Lynn and just I don't want to deal with that so now her moonbow is charged let's use Hector's pivot and now everyone's out of the danger zone sweet so we could go about this a couple of ways we could either like somehow find a way to heal up Hector I'm totally sure though he's going to be fine like I have no worries about that but yeah as you saw 
I might as well show it again. He's just gonna be like, all right, let's get him. <gasps> like Lloyd's like ready to battle, but no, the guy's like, no, let's 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 take our time. I like that. He's just spamming reposition, but uh, you could keep going and eventually this blue mage like work his way over to you, which is a legitimate strategy, but I don't know. I don't really care about all that. So okay. let's think about this realistically. I could use Lin and Ardent Sacrifice here since we are going with the strat to get the um like one guy really close to us, but I think we'll be okay. We're gonna pivot with Hector. Lloyd cannot attack us. Let's hone attack. And I could Ardent Sacrifice again just to ensure like Hector's safety. I know I'm using Hector as a crutch. I'm very sorry, but he's very good to me. So yeah, this guy, without his bow friend doing no damage, just seven. Absolutely pathetic, get out of my face. And then, now all we have to do is worry about him. So, let's think about this. So I could move you up there, but that would put us in danger of that. So, what I'm thinking of doing instead is just pivoting behind, and we should be okay, because Lloyd and the Blue Mage aren't going to attack us at the same time, because yeah, he's gonna go for the buff, and perfect. All right, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So, this might not always happen to you, but this is ideally what you want to do, and oh my gosh, I'll actually kill uh, pretty much everybody. So, Lin, get in there with your Blar Blade. She's even stronger with, like, Aura, I thought was good on her, and then Blar Blade came out. Look at that damage, like seriously. Okay. Julia with the um, Fortify Res Sacred Seal. It's not even fair, man. All right. <laughs> so, we could just send Hector in there, or we could just let Julia get some screen time. You know what, Julia? I thought I needed you, I actually didn't, and I feel really bad about that, but... She's just such a goddamn good unit. I really hope you pulled her during the uh, summoning banner for her, but... Eh, you don't necessarily need her, so... Who should we really get the kill? I guess Julia. You know, let's, let's make sure everyone has some contribution, so... Yet again, not a tough map. You can actually really easily... And I say really easily, but I'm using a Hector, but if you play your cards right and have the proper characters... You can definitely manipulate the AI into doing what you want it to do, and nice, we got the White Wolf Lloyd. I'm Lloyd, White Wolf of the Black Fang. Know some vermin? I'll exterminate them for- oh, come on, Lloyd, don't be like that! Oh my gosh, he's listening to his brother, but... Yeah, let's actually, um, check out his stats. As always, all Grand Hero Battle, uh, characters are going to be, um, neutral, like Bane and Boone. That's just the way it is. Which can be a blessing or a curse, depending on how lucky you are, but let's scroll all the way to the bottom and check this guy out. Now, we didn't get to see a special trigger or anything, but I don't know, man, I like this guy! He looks pretty darn cool! When he gets, uh, damage, though, oh man, he actually looks like the... Someone says he looks like the protagonist of the first Silent Hill game, and I have to agree, he totally does, but let's hear his voice acting from Kaji Tang. Need someone eliminated? I'll consider it. We fangs eliminate lowlifes, no matter how high their station. In the fangs, I am known as the White Wolf. This poking and prodding, what are we, children? <laughs> how fortunate that neither of us is a lowlife, or the fangs would strike. Oh boy, yeah, he does not mess around. He uh, actually reminds me a lot of Carrel. I mean, they're in the same universe, but... It's definitely a very, de like, you know, business sheerly with this guy. I dig that, though. Remember the Black Fang? Assassins delivers justice to those who deem criminals. Known as the White Wolf, son of the group's leader. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. As far as, like, skills, though, and his viability inside of Fire Emblem Heroes, though, I mean, Regal Blade is a cool enough ability. Like, it's all right. Like, I don't know. He's sort of designed to be a sweeper in a sense, but we already have, like, you know, lots of great sword characters. It's gonna have to be, like, you have to be really impressive to beat, you know, Xander, Lucina, Ryoma, you know, but, I don't know, if it was your favorite character from the game, eh, it's not bad, I guess. I'm cool with him. Let's actually check out some of his animations in battle before we go, though, and did my Julia, does she have the feathers around her? Okay. Oh wow, she doesn't. I'm sh I, I'm so sure, I'm so close to like 2,000 hero merit with her, but yeah. Let's just test out and s hopefully, oh no, can we see a special trigger yet? I don't know if we can. Oh yeah, we can, sweet, so he has chilling wind. Oh, that won't see, that won't give us his quote though, unfortunately, but yeah, he can take care of these guys, bring it on. So he's actually fortunate enough to have like 
really high resistance, and maybe in a meta where we're like dealing with a ton of green mages, that could be really beneficial, but in my opinion, and this is just like how I play arena, the most deadly mages are actually the ones that um are blue, such as Reinhardt, Lind, those are the most deadly. Sure, there's a lot of um Ninos out there as well, and some Julius, but that's 99%, okay, not 99%, a good chunk of we're gonna be facing, and oh wow, his speed stat's actually not bad at all, hmm. Maybe he does have potential. I guess only time will tell. I mean, I really want to see his like special cooldown trigger, but that would that would mean I didn't invest in SP and all that crud. But I don't know. He's like I, I can actually see myself using this character. Oh, his HP is kind of bad. Oh, never mind. Chilling wins this one. I thought it was like the I'm such an idiot. I just realized. <laughs> so his uh special cooldown thing. Yeah, that sounds cool. You won't escape. I'm digging it. It's not bad. It's kind of cool that we have some characters that specialize in, you know, really high um, resistance, too. It's usually, it's just defense, and oh my gosh, dude. Is that a unique animation? It might be. No, I think that's just the normal, like, Swordmaster, like, no, he might have something different. Huh. Either way, though, honestly, don't let his uh, mid-combat face scare you. I think Lloyd is kind of promising, but now let's just talk about what's, like, going to probably be happening in Fire Emblem Heroes in the coming weeks. So, for those aren't like a fans of the 3DS games, Fire Emblem, Heroes of Valentia, Fire Emblem, Shadows of Valentia, not Heroes, that shows how much I play Fire Emblem Heroes, <laughs> has been released internationally. And that means we're probably gonna get a lot more content for that game. We already have the banners um, for like Alm and Celica. We also have, you know, Celica's old passe. I'll be honest with you, I don't see any of these units being really groundbreaking, but hey, if you like Celica and the fact she puts her hand over her, like the top of her boot, I don't know why she does that. That's like a. Have you seen any girl ever do that in your entire life? No. So that's weird, but I don't think she's like a fantastic unit. The game seems to like sort of be realizing that, yeah, 100% HP uh, characters are a thing, and they kind of want to do away with that, and I'm seeing that like they're doing that, but let's just talk about the fighting. Lloyd battle. Holy crud, this is a really good banner. So, we've never had Ninian as a, like, a focus character outside of the one time she appeared. And it was really hard to pull her for some god dang reason. And the only time we've had Hinoka is during the, like, Pegasus voting one. And you could also get 5-star Tsubaki. So, if you are interested in either of these characters, I gotta say, this is looking pretty good for you. Also, if you get a Raven that's plus speed and he's 5-stars, dude, you can make Quad Raven, and that is a seriously powerful build, but, uh, Client's pretty poopy, so I don't know. It's good for skill inheritance, but that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If I assisted you in any way in taking on Lloyd, I hope you found this video helpful. If I'm somehow 100% wrong and Lloyd becomes this giant monster that can just tear through every single unit in the game, I'm sorry, I didn't see that coming. So far, he does seem kind of lackluster, though, so if you can't get him as a 4-star, don't sweat it. I'm sure he'll be back and you can battle him again, but let's check out his uh, parting words and your weapon is something else. Or if you could use it to shoot vermin somehow. Oh, you mean the gun I shoot heroes out of? Yeah. Maybe kind of funny if like the summoner actually used his phone for battle. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time with more Fire Emblem Heroes. Bye.